Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to cover how to use the distance shader. Create these renders. Car against the back wall here. So we've got a ramp with a cell noise and a distance shader given this outline around the car. Okay, so got the car model here sitting against the back wall here with the wall shaders. Got a standard surface shader. It's going to start off by creating a ramp RGB the colors and then connect that to the base color of the distance shader. Make sure the ramp type is set to custom so that we can connect the distance shaders to the input. I'll color R to the input of the ramp. Now I've got a preset here of some colors that I'm going to use, but feel free to use your own colors for the ramp. I'm not seeing much at the moment because it's quite a large scene yeah, units wise, so I need to increase the distance like 100, maybe 150. So now we can see the distance shader is reacting to the car because it's quite close to the wall here. I'm also going to hide this sphere just as an example. So at the moment the, the effect is quite blurry because I don't have enough samples. To increase the quality, it's going to add more samples. It should clean that up. However, it will take a bit longer to render. Put this back down to 16 for now. So maybe we want the sphere in the scene to render, but we don't want it to affect the, the distance shade on the back wall. So what can we do? Well, we can add a trace set for the sphere and the distance shader. So I'm going to add a trace set to the distance shader. And then use that same trace set name for the sphere. So under the Arnold attributes of the sphere, you should get into trace sets. Use the same name. So now the sphere is no longer contributing to the distance shader. And we could also do the same for the car object. So under the trace sets of the car, it's the same distance name. So now our only floor plane is contributing to this shader. So I'm going to undo that. Just hide the sphere for now. And delete the trace set. So we could also connect another shader to the far color. So I'm going to connect a cell noise shader. Maybe change the scale. And change the coordinate space to world. And we go back to the ramp. Just change some of these colors. Maybe 0.1. So getting something like, looks like fire coming off around the car here. You could also change the distance value as well to reduce it. You can see the effect it's having on the based on the car's outline. Okay, so that's how to use the distance shader in M2. Thanks for watching and bye for now.